when we talk about CN Maestro configuration, we generally break up the activities into three groups. First, day zero. That's when we pre-configure all of the devices and all the networks. The second is day one. That's the day we install the products on site. And day two is, well, any time after that. That's the time when we troubleshoot, we diagnose, we check status, we make sure the network is always operating. There are three videos that cover these three days, and this video is day one. And now we're on to our day one configuration of CN Maestro. Remember on day zero, we pre-adopted, pre-provisioned the entire network. Now on day one, we dispatch technicians on site and we can watch them as they work remotely. So let's go ahead and refresh the screen here. There you go. Indeed, the access point is now online. Let's take a look and see what we can see. First of all, you'll notice right off the bat, the name has been changed. We're going to explain that in a minute. AP group looks good. It's the correct group. That way I know the AP will have the correct configuration. And the site, it's correctly assigned to the San Jose Building Supply. That's excellent. All right, let's drill into this AP, see if we can figure out why that name has been changed. All right, so we notice here in the dashboard for the access point that our sync status says something is not in sync. And our alarm says, well, there's a, there's a problem here. The configuration has been changed outside of CN Maestro. Okay, I understand this. What happened is that I was playing around with this AP yesterday, the last couple of days, and doing a lot of different configurations, and there's something stuck in there. So let's go ahead and clean that out. Just click this, click the sync configuration button, and that should clear out that, that alarm. Okay, so going back to our dashboard, indeed our status is now clean, and our alarm's also very clean, so it looks good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the system level and follow through as the installers complete their installations to go around the, the warehouse, our fictitious business. Uh, we see no major or, my, or critical alarms. We do see a minor alarm, but again, that's the one we've already cleaned out. We've already taken care of that one. Let's drill into the site and let's modify the floor plan. All right, so here's our site name, San Jose Building Supply and floor plans along the top row. Okay, so if I zoom out a little bit, oh, there's our AP. So we see our AP is clear over here on the side because it doesn't know where it belongs yet. It's not smart enough to know that, but let's edit this file. Let's grab this AP and move it over here to the office because that's where it belongs, right there. And once we move it over there, it's gonna get pinned. So we'll just save that. So now we can visualize different uh, device status information. Now you can imagine in your mind's eye if this network of warehouses had a had a, a dozen access points in the office and in the yard outside and in the uh, inside the warehouse itself, this would be a very useful screen. When I only have one single access point, it's not so useful, but I want to show it to you. This is something you want to do towards the end of your day one activities. Now, the last thing we want to do at the end of day one, before we are finished with this activity, is we want to run some reports. So if you click on reports, you'll see here that we have several different reports available, a whole bunch of data that's available to us. I'm going to delete most of this. I'm going to uncheck most of this because I just don't care about all of that for my end of day report. This is what I do the last step on day one. Uh, there are some things that are checked in gray. Those are automatic. You always get those. Things like the MAC address, very, very important. Software version, also very important to have. But I want the site name. I want the synchronization status. And um, on the radio, I want RF quality. Because RF quality is going to show me how well the AP is seeing the RF environment in which it's operating. You know, the retries and the quality of the connections from the clients and how much interference there is, things like that. So this report will give me a nice view of how everything is working at the end of day one. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can find that report. Here it is in my downloads folder. And we're going to, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the text import wizard. All right, now, Unfortunately, this report only has one line because I only have one AP. You see, in your mind, just sort of imagine at the end of the day, if you've installed 50 APs or 100 APs, this report would be very, very useful. This will go into my end of day report. 
Of course, I have my MAC address, that's good. I don't care so much about the IP address of the device, but it's there if you need it. I do care a lot about um, the software version. Make sure that it's uh, it's the correct version. Uh, my synchronization status. Uh, where's the serial number? You know what? I didn't get the serial number. That's a big mistake. Let's go back and fix that. Let's close that out because I don't like that. All right. Back here, I'm going, oh, there it is right there. Serial. See, I missed that the first time. Let's get that corrected. All right. Okay, so now we have our MAC address. We have our site name, San Jose Building Supply. Ah, there it is, beautiful, my serial number. I need that for warranty purposes. Software, excellent. And finally, my RF quality on the 2.4 and the 5 gig radio. So there's the data I will use for my end of day final report. And we are now done with day one.